hello guys i am back with another amazing tool of kali linux so in our today's session i am going to tell you about a good async automation tool that is called spiderwood this is a really famous framework tool it actually collects information in a really neat way and it actually saves time so before we start make sure if you are new on my channel so like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of all my new sessions Let's get started. So guys, basically this tool is pre-installed in the Kali Linux operating system. If you uh, move the cursor on the application tab and then on the information gathering tab, and as you can see here at the bottom, we have the spider foot tool available. So if you click on the spider foot tool, it will open the uh, terminal for you. And by default, it will open the help of this tool. But nowadays, mostly users want a GUI interface of uh, this tool and uh, they're familiar with the GUI uh, interface. So in our today's session, we are going to install the GUI interface of this Spiderfoot tool. And as you can see here, we have the uh, command sf.py to run this tool. And here we have some uh, parameters which we can set in this tool. So simply close your terminal and uh, we are going to install the GUI interface of this tool. So simply go ahead and open up your browser from where you are going to clone your tool. So we was, as you can see uh, here our Spiderfoot tool is open and uh, if you don't know how to uh, open this tool on a github account so you can simply open a new tab and you are going to write here Spiderfoot and after that you are going to write here github and press enter it will redirect you to the next page and as you can see here we have on the first uh, taoyds spider script and baselines spiderfoot github so if you uh, click on this link it will redirect you to the github page of this tool so as you can see here we have opened the github page of this tool so simply close it and uh, here we have our github page and if you scroll down here is the graphical use interface of this tool and if you scroll down here we have some features of this tool it is web based ui or cli cli means the command line interface and it uses over 200 modules and it supports the python 3.7 and plus after that csv json and gexf export files api key export and import sql light back and for custom uh, curing highly comfortable and fully documented visualization tor integration for dark web searching this uh, is also a good thing for us and docker file for docker based deployment and after that here we have some other information about this tool and as you can see here are the uses butterfoot can be used offensively in a red team exercise or penetration testing of your target of uh, defensively to gather information about what you are or your organization might have exposed over the internet you can target the following entities in a spiderfoot scan ip address you can uh, easily scan the ip address of any uh, user you can scan the domain subdomain name host name network subnet cidr asn email addresses phone numbers usernames person's name and bitcoin addresses as well so if we scroll down here we have the installation process of this tool so what we are going to do is we are going to simply uh, go up and we are going to click on the code and here from here we are going to copy this link after that you're going to simply open up your terminal and use the command git clone and after that paste your link which you have copied from the website and press enter so as you can see it uh, says that fatal destination path spiderfoot already exists and is not an empty directory it means that i have already downloaded this tool because it uh, takes some time to download so if i write ls over here as you can see over here the spiderfoot tool is already available on my system so what i'm going to do simply i'm going to navigate into my spiderfoot tool using the cd command cd and after that spiderfoot and if we type ls again and here as you can see here are all the files of this tool so simply we are going to uh, first of all we are going to uh, install the requirements of this tool so so for this we are going to use the command pip3 install hyphen r requirements.txt and press enter so it will install all the requirements that are necessary to run this tool 
on your uh, color linux operating system so guys as you can see it says that requirements are already satisfied and those requirements that are not installed in our system it is downloading those uh, requirements and installing them on our color linux operating system so it is uh, important to run the pip3 command before you use this tool so here we have the command pip3 install hyphen r requirements.txt so guys as you can see all the dependencies have been installed in our system and we are good to go so just type here ls and after that you can find this uh, script over here sf.py the python script so we are going to use the script to run our tool so we are going to type here sf.py and after that we are going to uh, specify uh, sorry we are going to use the python command python 3 and after that we are going to use sf.py and after that we are going to specify the local host which is 127.0.0.1 and the port number which is 5001 so you can use any port number so simply press enter now it will generate a graphical user interface link so as you can see it says that your gui interface is available on this link so simply open this link from here and as you can see here we have successfully opened our gui interface of spiderfoot so if you click on spiderfoot it says that no scans history so if you click on the new scan as you can see here we have all the information of this tool it says that you can uh, search the domain name and you can search the host name subdomain name bitcoin address the email addresses the phone numbers human names usernames network essence and uh, you can also select the modules down from here so if you want to use all the modules you can uh, click on this all and if you just want the footprints you can click on this footprint and if you want to just investigate or the passive you can uh, click on these either so we are going to uh, click on the all and we are going to use all the modules of this tool so first of all let me show you how this works so uh, here in the scan name target we are going to specify our scan name so for example i am going to write here anything like phone and uh, let's say we are going to uh, scan for a phone number for example let's say i'm going to uh, type a random country code and a random phone number so let's say i type here nine two and after that the no phone number three one five four one one four seven and after that i'm going to simply run the scan from here and let's see what happens now so it's running the scan as you can see the scans status and uh, it says that the uh, scan is starting and uh, the positive side of this uh, tool is you can run multiple scans at the same time so let's run a new scan over here and uh, let's say i'm going to run a scan on a website so i'm going to type here website for our scan name and let's say i'm going to run a scan on techchip.net and after that press enter so it will uh, automatically start the scan so it says that the scan is starting so as you can see it have captured something from this domain and as you can see it says that the unique element is one and the total elements are also one and in the internet name it says the internet name is one i think the scan is still running so we will wait and as you can see this uh, web domain name server is registered in united states and the source module is sfp country name and this is the identification time uh, on which time and on which, which date you have run this scan and check this uh, domain name server so if we go on summary and it's still running you can also stop this scan and as you can see uh, still it's getting some information about this uh, web domain name server it says the unique elements are two so here we have the certificates of this web domain name of this website and uh, like this you can explore more uh, on this tool so let me run a new scan and this time we are going to search for an email address so we are going to type here email 
and after that we are going to type in the scan target we are going to for example let's say we are going to uh, type here hacking with fk at gmail.com so let's see that this tool gives the information of this email or not so simply click on the run scan and it will start the scan on this uh, email address target email address and if you uh, click on this scan once again so it will show you that uh, we have three processes three scans running uh, right now number one scan which we have started at the first so as you can see this scan has been finished because uh, this is a smaller scan you can also delete this scan from here or you can clone this scan or you can uh, stop this scan from here which is running the second scan which is website techchip.net domain and uh, the started time and uh, date and uh, it says that it is not finished yet and if you can check here the email scan is still starting it is not started yet and uh, here we have 22 elements found in the website scan so if we click on the website scan and it will open up the, all the information which we have got from this domain so if we click on this ssl certificate raw data so as you can see all the certificate raw data of this website is available over here you can check out all this information and it's not ending so like this you can use this tool in gui interface and i hope this was an informative session so if you have learned something valuable from my today's session so like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of all my new videos so let's meet in the next session until then take care goodbye